Ooh, I think I do have the fire ring, don't I? Yeah. That'll help. Oh, great. Yep. You can take the buggy to the first continent. That's how you get Eris's ultimate limit. So, let's give you the fire ring. And... Uh, enemy skill... Yo, Lord Lido with the 11 months! Thanks so much. Snake. You can land the highland next to the temple, the, or the city of the ancients. Alright, he just needs to kick someone that isn't Cloud. We should be alright. Alright. We also need to not kill him. Which is actually going to be kind of a struggle because all I have is limits. I hope this doesn't kill him. Okay, so that should be beta. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, though, he might kill Cloud. Yeah. Darn. I did it right, but I needed to heal Cloud. I can't shop. I don't want to ruin my, waste my Phoenix Dance. It would have worked if either of those bios actually poisoned him, because then bio would have killed him. Maybe. That's why I like poisoning him when you do this, because there's a good chance that right when he uses beta, the last poison tick kills him, and then you don't have to worry about the last attack. But, uh, I poisoned him twice and neither one of them worked. How's it going, Alan? Yeah, going to get White Wind is going to help a lot because I still don't have any reliable way to heal. In fact, I have less heal reliability than like scavenger mod because at least in scavenger mod I can pick up potions and stuff but I can't I don't even have steel I can't steal potions anywhere that there normally is a potion it's usually not a potion um, so like I can't I have so little way to heal <laughs> finally a hit nah, he's gonna kick cloud though uh, poison has a... Oh, I forget the number. Is it 70% chance? It's a pretty good chance, but not 100% chance. It's like a 70% roll to poison. If they don't have resistance. If they have resistance, then it's less. And if they have 100% resistance, then it's zero. 
And then there's certain enemies uh, that can be poisoned but can't take poison damage. Like Lost Number. So, uh... Or is it Lost Number? Who's who's the... There's a specific enemy. You can poison them but they take zero damage. Oh, I think it's... I think it's Demon Wall. You can poison him but he takes zero poison damage. So it just ticks zero over and over. But yeah, one of the uh, one of the biggest struggles with the Final Fantasy VII speedrun uh, that isn't isn't the the category I do, the regular any percent run, is you have to hope that uh, poison works for a lot of fights. There's several fights where you need poison to go off, and poison is quite the struggle because it likes to not work when you need it to. I'm gonna try to keep Cloud's turn ready. Ah! That sucks. Now it's a 50 50 chance that he kicks Cloud. Nice, he didn't. Now, hopefully, this doesn't kill him, but it, I feel like it will. Oh, he crits me! Unbelievable. What a jerk. Alright, let me drop this bad joke on you, and then I gotta go to the bathroom. What is Luna like on her sandwiches? Salad mayonnaise. I hope all you Dota fans enjoyed that. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Why does Luna hate Venomancer? He always tries to poison Nova. Uh. <laughs> I mean, at least they're still better than the Minecraft jokes. Like, at least if you are a Dota fan, they kind of make sense. Because... The, uh, the Minecraft jokes were literally just everything is a block. <laughs> just, just the... The joke is always block. I'm gonna revive Yuffie in hopes that he kicks Yuffie. He's gonna get another attack in though before I can get him to counter. Ah! That seems. Alright, let's just hope it's. Let's hope he kicks. Uh, actually, he didn't kick anyone. He's not kicking anyone! You're supposed to kick! You won't kick! <laughs> You're supposed to kick! Yeah, so... Uh, in the original... Game... So, at the end of the... The remake... Uh... Oh, great. I don't think this is gonna work. Well, maybe. If I can get my turn during beta. Oh, he didn't even beta. Dude, this guy's cheating. He's supposed to <laughs> He's supposed to respond to beta. 
So, at the end of the remake um, demo, uh, slight spoilers for those of you that haven't played the demo yet, um, the explosion happens, uh, well, they, they plant the bomb, but the bomb doesn't go off. And then the president orders the laser cannons to shoot the bomb to make it look like Avalanche actually successfully did their job. And I said that they added that because in the original that doesn't happen. In the original, the bomb just goes off. Um, so a lot of people commented and said, well, actually there's this scene in the it, it does go off but it doesn't explode explode it just kind of um so a lot of people pointed out in the comments that there's this scene where if you like during the avalanche scene if you go up and talk to jesse she says that she didn't expect the bomb to blow up that uh big did she just cover my high potion i hate everything um why you cover the high potion, but you can't- you never cover the freaking attacks! Getting played out here. Uh, so she says that the explo- I can't even concentrate on my story, because Midgar's Zolum's being the biggest jerk on the planet. Um, she says that she didn't expect the explosion to be that big. And everyone thought that that was kind of an allusion to that happening in the real game. I see it as two different things. Either one, they planned on the president blowing up the reactor in the original game, but they just didn't have the budget to make that scene a reality, so they just kind of made it a, uh, you know... You, you kind of have to use your own imagination. I can't. I can't even with this Midgar Zolum right now. <laughs> he does nothing but attack Cloud. So basically, there's two different ways you can look at it. Either Jesse says that because they originally wanted that to be a scene in the game and they just couldn't afford it, and they wanted it to be up to your own imagination, or B. She, that, that, like, that's just a throwaway line. Like, she just said that. And the bomb really was better than she thought it was going to be. Um, I think that she's alluding to the fact that they may have done it themselves. Like, the president might have blown it up. But I still stand by my original comment that they changed it in the remake because obviously jesse saying one line if you go and talk to her versus literally having a cutscene where it shows the president saying do the thing and then the laser shoots the bomb is different like they did change it whether or not it was meant to be that way in the original is nolan like doesn't matter they definitely changed the scene. Let's not get that wrong. Like, they did change the scene. <laughs> so, whether or not that was an original intention or not, they did change the scene. I really like the change a lot. It's not necessary... Like, because like I said, it's not going against the original story at all. It's improving the original story by giving even more of an incentive to hate the president. And it makes sense for the remake... Because you need to have the president be more of an evil character in the remake because he's a bigger character in the remake. In the original, he's not a big character at all. You see him once and then he dies. So he doesn't need to be important. Therefore, a scene where the president says, yeah, blow up the reactor, isn't necessary in the original because he's not an important character. But in the remake, the president is a very important character so you need to have more of an incentive to dislike him. Therefore, that scene improves the story. So them doing stuff like that is a really good sign that they're understanding, hey, 
there's certain things we need to change in order to fit this whole narrative of a 60 hour Midgar. Because if you just take the original Midgar and copy it scene for scene, it's not going to make up 60 hours and it's not going to be a very cohesive story at all. Imagine if you took every, th every scene that happens in the game in Midgar and that was just the remake. It would be pretty terrible because like nothing would happen. It would just be a bunch of open... Like because Midgar is the opening of the game. So it purposefully leaves a lot of untied answers. It, 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 it purposely keeps a lot of openness to a lot of the characters because later they explain more about their character. But in the remake, they need to close off a lot of those ties. They definitely want to keep some stuff open because they plan on making a part two. But a lot of the stories need to have beginning, middles, and ends for it to be a good game. If they just had like the same scenes they had in the original game and then it just suddenly ended when you beat Motorball, it would be a terrible game. Like Everyone would hate it. Everyone would just be like, okay, let's just wait for part two to come out and then play them side by side. Because part one isn't even really a game. It's just like the opening of a game. So they need to make sure it has certain storylines that actually have a beginning, middle, and end. I think the president is a really great possibility for them. Because the president does die in the regular game. But it's really uneventful. But here in the remake, they can make it super eventful and have that be a big part of the story. so that Because the president can actually have a nice beginning, middle, and end because he doesn't do anything after Midgar, because he dies. So, there's certain stuff like that. Like, they can totally retcon the president and make him a way more interesting character, because he dies anyways, and it doesn't affect the overall story, but you could still, like, have a cooler story with him, you know? So, I'm all for that. Yo, Gaming Mule, thank you for the 14 months. Oh my. I can't with this. with this snake boy right now. He literally just crits. He literally just crits Cloud. <laughs> right off the start of the fight. Not just a reactor. Uh, they say that in the original game too, right? Um, I don't know. I've never really understood that line much. I think that... I think that they suspect there's more going on than just Mako stuff. But they don't really know what it is. So they just kind of say that. But in reality, I mean, I think it's, I think the idea was that it's an allusion to the later scene where, uh, oh, this is good. I think it's an allusion to the later scene where they find the, uh, soldier, the Mr. Smiley. I believe that's what it's supposed to be. Um, now whether or not that makes any sense, I don't know, because it doesn't seem like there's any Mr. Smiley's in the reactors in Midgar. But I think that's what they were trying to do. I think they were trying to say, you know... Alright, I think we got it, finally. I think they were trying to say something about the, uh, the soldiers in Mako. Who is the voice? More than likely Genova. I think every time that someone's speaking to Cloud, it's Genova. That's that's always what I've interpreted. People like to say it's Zack, but that doesn't make any sense. Like, I like the idea that Zack is talking to Cloud, but it just doesn't make any sense. How could Zack possibly talk to Cloud? He's not a ghost. Like, <laughs> he they, they kind of make him a ghost in Advent Children, but 
to me, the only reason that Zack can communicate with Cloud is because Eris uses, like, Eris and Zack together talk to Cloud. And Cloud hasn't even met Eris yet. So, I highly doubt that it's Zack. Like, why would Zack even talk to Cloud at that point? He doesn't really know. Like, it, like he hasn't even met Eris yet. This is awkward. Why are you flying? Stop flying. <laughs> Get back down here, Chocobo. Oh, I didn't want to go this way. It is kind of weird, though, that it says watch out. Because you wouldn't think Genova would say watch out. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, I, it could just be his subconscious, too. Oh, that's an interesting one. I, I'm pretty much 100% convinced that the voice that talks to Cloud in... Um, in Lower Junon is Genova. I, I don't think anyone could, could uh, sway me otherwise. But in terms of the other voices that talk to Cloud, I'm not 100% convinced that it's always Genova. You could probably you can make an argument that it's not Genova. The only one that I'm pretty certain on is Lower Junon. I'm almost positive that's Genova. It makes way too much sense. And when I say Genova, I mean Genova Sephiroth, like both of them together. Because at that point, Sephiroth is controlling Genova. So if it's Genova talking to him, it's also kind of Sephiroth. So. Yeah, see, they're trying to they're trying to bring home the point that Cloud is a mental case, so it makes sense to have uh, like voices talking in his head. It might not literally be people talking to him; it might just be his brain playing tricks on him. You know. And I think that makes a lot of sense. All right, let's see what happens. What's up, J-Web? Oh god, why? Up. Oh. Okay, so... Looks like the Calm Traveler doesn't know... Doesn't have the text yet until this 2, so we're gonna have to come back in this 2. I've never tried to turn in the Earth Harp on this one, so I didn't know what happened. There you go. But, potentially, in, in, in Disc 2, he should have the text because Emerald Weapon exists on Disc 2, so. The code should be there on Disc 2. As soon as we get to Disc 2, we can come back and see what happens. We did get beta, though, so that's dope. Now remind me where White Wind is, because I always get it in the Great Glacier. Where is it on the world map? I was thinking the beach near... Uh, near Cosa del Sol, but that's Big Guard, isn't it? Is that, oh, yeah, yeah! The enemy near Junon. He's a weird one because he doesn't, I don't think he even uses it. Or if he does, it's not very often. I was getting beta, which I now have.
What does beta do? A lot of damage. Hey! Oh, I forgot to put it. Okay. I, uh... I took it off and didn't equip it. Paper Crane! The best weapon. Do these guys also have big guard, or is it only on the beach? Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> this is a model change. What's weird though is the green the green bird didn't get a model change. I wasn't even thinking about the model changes. Because the green guy was correct, so I wasn't even thinking like, oh yeah, model changes. Alright, we have actual healing now. We're in there, boys. It's kind of neat that no matter what seed you get, you'll always get White Wind here. Because the enemy skill in... Um, in Midgar is always the same. And you always get Manipulate from Kate Sith. So you'll always at least get White Wind. You'll never have a seed where you don't get any healing the whole game. So that's pretty nice. Nah, the, ana the enemy AI is still the same, it's only the models that are changed, so Pandora's box you should still only get one. There are certain attacks that are linked to a model though, so there's certain attacks that like don't work, but Pandora's box should work. There's certain things like the, uh, the faces doing their flip animation is like broken. Uh, the egg enemies that multiply, that's broken, so they just kind of like die instead of multiplying. Stuff like that. I don't know why that guy's floating. Yeah, we could get Aqualung too. I mean, we already have Contain. We don't really need all the different... I mean, we have enough magic. We got Alexander, Hades, and Contain. Like, we're fine. I don't even know if we really need enemy skills. I just wanted White Wind. I'll get Big Guard, too, because Big Guard is way too good. But I don't even think we need Aqualung. I wanted to get Beta just for the challenge of getting Beta, because it's fun. But Aqualung's pretty free, and we probably won't need it. But we can get it just for the meme. Can we hear a bad joke? Yeah, if you turn in the points for it. I recently replayed Half-Life 2 and the two episodes would you consider one of the greatest games of all time? I'd like to play Half-Life sometime. What is this enemy? Oh, this is the uh, big bird, isn't it? I tell you what, I'll play uh, Half-Life 2 when Half-Life 3 comes out. <laughs> I think that's fair. What is Tinker's favorite month? 
March, March, March. What did Pugna say at the rehab facility? Let me take a crack addict. Like, take a crack at it, but crack addict? Good lord. Why is Pugna a bad support? Because he nether wards. Where does Spirit Breaker go toilet? Who says that? Who says go toilet? Is that like a foreign thing I'm not aware of? Go toilet. Where does Spirit Breaker go toilet? The Baratha room. That they're trying to say that's bathroom. And again, there's a bunch of spaces that shouldn't be there. And they actually put bathroom in parentheses in case you don't get the joke because it's so bad. Oh my God, there's so many Dota jokes. Good Lord. Bro. Like, the rest of the book is Dota jokes. I can't believe it. They had like five RuneScape jokes and like 27 Dota jokes. Yo, Dirtbag, Dustin, thank you so much for the brand new Twitch Prime. That means a lot, man. Thanks so much for using your Twitch Prime sub here. No, no Final Fantasy jokes. Only popular games like Minecraft and Dota and RuneScape. They don't have time for Final Fantasy jokes. And by that I mean they don't have the creativity for Final Fantasy jokes. Desert Rose? What was it? What do you mean? You missed it. Like you didn't get it during your playthrough? Surprisingly, there isn't a Fortnite section. They probably couldn't come up with enough Fortnite jokes. Oh, you mean Earth Heart. Uh, we didn't get anything because the code isn't there yet. We gotta come back on disc two. This other one not targetable. He's in the back row, I guess. I cast big guard on him. God dang. Just want to give him a fighting chance. Hey, how's it going, Brew Crew? Thanks for being here. Did he use Big Guard? Wow, really? Glitch. <laughs> I love that glitch. Uh, what 
this. I don't know what these enemies are. Oh, these boys. Ow, they hurt. Titan won't work. Why aren't enemy skills randomized? Because none of the enemy AI is randomized. Only the models. I hate these enemies so much. I no longer have the ability <clears throat> the ability to survive. Uh, oh, I have water ring. Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll be good. Hope you look forward to volume two. <laughs> no. No volume two. Okay, that's him. Don't you! Thank goodness for White Ring. Oh, that killed him? I thought he had over a grand. I thought he had like 1,200 health. Wait, wait. I murdered him. We could use a little bit of XP anyways. We're about to fight the Turks and they're probably going to be jerks. Good lord. Freeze is strong. You are definitely not supposed to have freeze at this point in the game. Oh! What the heck was that lag? I've never seen this game lag. My computer's dying. Tanks! Float flying tanks! Maybe for the next joke book we should get one with actual good jokes. I don't know if that exists though, to be honest. I'm pretty sure every joke book is just a hoax. They just go on Google and copy and paste every joke they can find. And then put, please leave us a review right in the middle of the book. <laughs> I'm telling you man, I'm, I'm gonna write a joke book. It's gotta be the freest money on the planet. Crabs! Giant enemy crabs! Hey, how's it going, Kuros? Oh, 
reminds me of all those board games that are just copies of other board games. All the apples to apples ripoffs. No, really, this is a completely unique game that you should spend $40 on. It's called Pairs to Pairs. Don't worry, it's totally different. Actually, yeah, Apples to Apples was kind of a ripoff, wasn't it? Most board games are. It's hard to find a unique board game. But some of them are very good. Hey, how's it going, Lethal? Thanks, man. Glad you're here. It's good to have you on board. Is someone there? Uh, as long as Cloud gets his turn, we win, so. Yo, see ya! Thank you for the gifted sub to Lethal. Welcome to the crew, Lethal. Enjoy the emotes, enjoy the badge. I don't see anyone. Is that the freaking propeller? Like the big, slow propeller from Midgar? Your favorite trio is Ash, Brock, and Misty. My favorite trio is Propeller, Door, and Helicopter. Also, they, they are a dragon and a hedgehog, so that's neat. Yo, Overkill! Thank you for the Twitch Prime, man. Appreciate it. is just too good. Are you... Uh oh. <laughs> they don't have their leaving animation? Uh... This could be a problem. I can't run. Not that I would be able to anyways, but I can't even do the animation to run. This is a weird soft lock, because the running animation for Reno and Rufus worked, but they, they had their right models, I think. That's a weird one. Alright, we'll have to fight these boys without the... without the rando. Look at what... why are his hands, like, so weird? Is that always that way? Dragon's hands look all goofy. Alright. We'll have to fix this real fast. Should be just F level that we need to swap out. Actually, mm, I don't know if F level affects battle models. Probably not, actually. We probably need to swap out scene also. Actually, we probably only, only need to swap out scene. fight please yeah.
This should work, I think. Omnichair is my old chair. That kind of died a horrible death, but he's still chilling. Yep, we're good now. I can probably also run now. Yeah. Because the... Uh, The code that Sega Chief put in to remove the ability to run is in scene, so. We'll just run away from these fights since they're now easier. We'll beat the Turks and then go back to the regular scene. We'll still get this goofy stuff though. No screaming on stream, trying to nap. What if I just talk like this the entire rest of the stream? Will this help you? Nah. To sleep to the Turks music. Why are we? What? What's even stranger is this is just the spider. Like, it's not even the Turks. I don't know what caused this. My scene file is normal. I should have gotten a normal fight. Maybe... Maybe because F-level is still different, it didn't know where to throw me. I mean, that still worked, but I didn't get the normal reward. Which, to be honest with you, I don't remember what the reward is. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's flip F level 2. strange <laughs> I think what maybe happened is because scene was normal but F level wasn't normal and when you're on the world map it doesn't use F level to determine battle ID but when you're on a field it uses F level to determine what battle it's supposed to throw you in so because F level is randomized but scene wasn't it didn't know which battle ID to throw me in, so it threw me in a random battle ID, which was the spider fight. So that was just legitimately the spider fight, like, just the regular spider fight with the regular spider rewards and everything. That would make sense as to why the world map fights were normal. Because the world map doesn't use F level. Yeah, I already have the fairy tale, so I'm going to get another one. Again? Must be Colonel then. It's 
See, I don't know. I've never worked with Colonel before. So I don't know what Colonel does. So. That's, that's what does it. But I can't explain that one. I've never worked with Colonel before. I don't know what it does. I guess Colonel does something with Battle ID. Mavic could probably explain. He's probably worked with Colonel more than I have, which is zero. <laughs> Everything I've done for all my mods have been in F level and summon scene and summon character. How's it going, Flare Spire? Alright, this time it'll work for sure, I promise. If not, my Final Fantasy 7 is broken. Because <laughs> those are the only four files that get affected by Rando. So, at this point it couldn't be anything else. Unless my game is just broken, which is a possibility. It does happen often. Always a possibility. I think they're dead. We're still victorious. I should send a message to uh, Sega Chief and let him know that this fight can soft lock. Because it seems like what he did is he went through and found all of the fights that could soft lock if they have random models and made them not random. That's why, like, Guard Scorpion, Reno, Rufus, all of them aren't randomized. But uh, he didn't randomize this one, so he must not have run into this soft lock. So I should probably let him know. Alright, let's leave right away so we can turn Rando back on. <laughs> <laughs> 